This video is an introduction to writing with your finger with NoteTaker. It's something really important to learn how to do if you want to use NoteTaker. So please watch this carefully or use the Try It tutorial and follow it also very carefully. The Try It tutorial comes in the help system and you get it when you first run the product. So let's create a blank page. Push the plus and you see the screen ready to write. There's a little blue area up here. It's outlined in blue. And the main area down here, you can see the page and it's lined. Now, if I write something like N, you'll see I wrote it big, real big. And you have it in red ink here and it echoes in black small up there. You have the dotted line across that corresponds to that, that solid line right here. As I write, you see that it echoes up here. If I push this little three, uh, two directional or four directional move button, I can move this, what we call the detail area, anywhere on the screen. And in red, you see the background, you see in the background or in foreground, what it is that you would have written. So I could go here and say, is, and I can push the right arrow. So you can move around with the left and right arrow or by using move, or you can actually use two fingers and just drag it around by having two fingers. But actually, it's kind of tedious to move like that. So note taker makes it even easier. If you get towards the right, you see how this gray area appears, that's called the auto advance area. If you write on it, it automatically advances and puts your ink over. It moves that blue area. So if I write for all, and now if I you see that little purple line that corresponds to the end of what I wrote over here. So I can put two L's right next to it. So see, I'm just writing over and over again. And as I write, it just moves over um, automatically. Now you see at the bottom over here how it's now turned from a gray dotted line into an orangish dotted line. That's to let you know that you're getting near the right-hand side. Because when you get all the way over to the right, it gives you uh, an indication that you're at the end. And if you actually touch that, it automatically gives you a return. You can give... Um, a return going to the next line by pushing this button. It's actually pretty smart. Not only does it do um, like that, it, but if I write, it sort of figures out sometimes that you want to do, um, that you're doing cursive and that you're dotting I's, crossing T's, something like that. Now, so we've gone over the ability to be able to move this around, to be able to get wherever you want. So let's say if I wanted to be able to check off something in a list, I could just move over to do that. But let's say I made a mistake. I can hit the erase button, and now it's erasing black ink, and whatever I go over with my finger erases. I could also push the undo button over here and undo erases or writing. And there's a redo button, so you can redo things that you've written, that you've done. Um, erase can also erase red ink. So you have a finer ability to erase if you want to. You can switch between them. You also can erase the whole thing just by pushing that button. Another button we have is the, um, the, the pencil over here. Notice this is small. All right, so I'm trying to write pretty big, but it comes up really small. If I tap the pencil once, the detail area gets bigger. That's bigger. Now let's go over a bit. If I tap it again, now it's
biggest. You can draw nice boxes and stuff like that. So you can switch between that. If you find that you naturally write really small, so that really doesn't work for you, then you can still write small, but it'll look bigger like that by pushing this. This button over here, the bottom left, that's the hide button. It hides all the other buttons. And push it again, they come back. You can also use it just to move the detail area to another spot. When you're in hidden area, you'll find out that this really is the top of a much larger uh, card. The page is like a three by five card, and you can actually move this up and down to get to some other spot. So for example, you can use three fingers also to drag to do the same thing, to find much more at the bottom. So you can get around on that. So that takes care of most of the buttons. There's also uh, these other two. That's the button that gets you to the page settings where you can set a lot of stuff. And in help, we'll tell you about it. These should be relatively self-explanatory. And there's an editing tools button for doing something to the entire page, not just setting things. To practice this, you can just put up a plain old page or you can go to help and do the Try It tutorial.